Hi, so Charlie giving you Friday's live trading, and um, it's only about half past seven or so. So, um, looking at you know, maybe the yen, the dollar yen this morning, but um, I'm waiting for it to really do something. So, um, we'll carry on watching this and we'll come back to it from there. Right, okay, so I was just talking to the guys in the trading room, and um, I've been looking at this dollar yen. It's come down to its hourly 50, so let's take this to an hourly chart. It's come down to the hourly 50. I think this one could take a while as far as trades concerned, but I want to put a unit in. I think. Hold on, let me just double check the um, the other charts off screen. We have got quite a bit of momentum coming down, but um, I want to at least have a unit in in on the dollar yen, and then um, I can then start building the position as we go through the morning. So I'm going to put one unit in right now. So I'm long one unit, and then as we go through the morning, um, I'll get some more units in. Um, hopefully. Um, so what, what I see as the potential is that it still comes lower yet, but I want to have one unit in just in case because it has just hit the, the hourly 50. I know the daily pivot's just a little bit below. Um, and then I can gradually just um, see if I can build this position and then see if it's going to gradually come up as we go through the day. Um, <clears throat> and I say go as we go through the day because that is the potential. Because of this hourly chart, if we take it back here, it's rolling a little bit, but it has come down to support of the hourly 50, hourly 20 moving average here, 21 moving average. So um, the potential is that it still wants, it's going to probe around this zone and maybe go a little bit lower. Um, but then what I'm looking for is for this this whole support zone to, to hold and then for at some point today for it to then have a nice bounce. So that's the idea. It's, I don't think this is a trade which is just going to be, well, it's not a trade that I'm looking at just right now just to um, get a, you know, a quick you know, trade off. It's, it's this bigger picture that I'm looking at here, which is there's some space up here above. So um, I'm going to be looking for it to, to turn around at some point here today. So I think it's just about hit that, <coughs> excuse me, as I'm just talking here, it's just about hit that that um, that daily pivot and so in fact I'll get my second unit in now now we've just hit that so I've got two units in at the moment I'm still um, looking to see if I can get some more in and so for now um, the momentum is, is to the downside at the moment so the pressure is to the downside overall but I've got two units in and like I said um, I'm gonna see if I can build this and and as we go through the day so it could be an interesting trade here today hopefully fingers crossed and um, that's if it doesn't just go straight all the way down and blast through all this support but um, we shall see so um, I think it's gonna take a while but um, I'm in at least now on the dollar yen I didn't know what was gonna happen this morning it was one of those cases earlier on where if it had started going up then I would have happily traded it <clears throat> if it had gone up otherwise as it came down then I was waiting for it to come down to this support zone where we're in so I'm in um, um, but um, this is still early days just yet. Okay, just back, and um, as we can see, the yen's um, coming up quite nicely at the moment. Um, still looking to put some more positions in. I've just got those two units in at the moment, but um, still looking to get some more units in. This is having this nice run. Um, I was, I've been waiting to see the momentum turn, and it's doing that at the moment. It's having a bit of a run. So, um, I've still got to wait a little bit because it's coming up to it's just testing its 8 a.m. pivot right now as I speak. So um, I've got to wait for some price action to um, occur above here. I've got the the, um, the 21 MA is right down here at the moment. So um, this needs to turn up. And um, anyway, it's looking more positive um, currently. But um, um, that was the whole idea, wasn't it? So. Um, looking at the target overall is at 107.34, so it's still quite a way away, um, the target. So um, it's up um, a bit at the moment. I can see off screen it's up £238. Now if it gets to 107.34, it'll probably be about a £500 trade, I guess then. Um, something like that. Uh, I'm just I, I'm guessing. Yeah, something like that. Um, but obviously I want to try and get some more units in yet. So um, we'll carry on watching this. and. Um, if it holds up here and we and this all starts to turn up and it gives it chance to turn up then I'll be coming back and putting some more units in right just back and actually whilst we're waiting on the dollar yen um, see a trade potential on the dollar CAD I'm gonna put go in with two lots not initially I'm going to go in with one lot initially then look to to add to it it's got everything sort of lining up um, for a little run up so going long here at 52 
Um, this is what I would call a more of a pure momentum sort of play. And so I've got all the momentum lined up and I've got a target above. It's been going up, got a little down candle here. So I'm using that as an excuse. Um, the target's only at 64. Um, we're at 52 at the moment. So it's a, more of a you know small smaller play. But I've only put the one lot in because um, it could want to come down and do and um, and do some um, test of uh, the bands or whatever. So I just put the one unit in at the moment, and if I can get um, a second unit or two in, then I will do. So um, and then I'll pop a stop down here below below all of this. So um, I'm still looking to see if I can get a second unit in on this one. It's looking all right. And what else is there to say? Yeah, it looks okay all, overall. Um, I'm just looking at this, and I was going to say I'll get a second unit in if it comes lower, but I'm just considering right now whether to even bother actually, and just um, go in here. So um, I think I'll I'll do that and just get the second unit in. Um, so I've got two units in here. I may actually just treat this as a, a bigger trade, and if it does come down a little bit lower, then I'll put another couple of units in. So um, and then still have my stop down here. So um, yes, dollar cad long at 52. Press pause for now. Okay, just back. So it's coming up. I said that first target was at 64. So we've got a little bit to go, but I've just got to um, pop into the you know, and make myself some. Second breakfast, it's, it's quarter past ten, so hobbits have to eat their second breakfast. So um, I've just put a limit order in to take half off if it gets to 64. The second target will be about 95 if it can get up there today. So I'll press pause for the time being. Putting up. Okay, just back. And so um, the uh, dollar cat still waiting. It was getting closer towards that initial target, but um, still not quite there yet. Let's have a look at this dollar yen trade because that has fallen away a bit back down towards, remember my entries were at 83 as an average uh, on those two entries so it has come back off so now and it's not surprising because I said this one could take hours um, so but what it's going to need to do before I get those extra entries in there was no point in me adding those extra entries up here because I knew that we still had a bit of a mishmash between the time frames so the time frames weren't all lined up even though it was a nice move um, but if we do come back up again at some point, back into this zone, that will be when I'll be looking to put those extra units in. So it's still on for getting those extra units in, but at the moment, obviously, it's pulled back um, down to into the 80s. Remember, my entries were about 83, so still playing a waiting game. But I did say all along that I thought this one could take several hours before it all lines up. So we'll see about that one. But for now, the dollar CAD is the one which is a bit more um, acute and it's more of an more of a much uh, tighter sort of day trade type trade so we'll see we'll keep monitoring this one okay just back and um, yeah it looks like I'm gonna get that I was just talking to the guys in the trading room looks like I'll get another unit in here for the risk from where my stop is down at 36 um, it's coming down into these prior highs as someone's just mentioned in the room it could come a bit lower down to here so um, but um, yes yeah, get a third unit in <coughs> So I've put a third unit in. I won't put any more in on CAD because I think that's enough. Of, and bear in mind, we've got the other trade running on dollar yen still. So um, that will do for now on dollar CAD. I'll press pause. Um, we'll see. I think it could come a little bit lower because we've got these other highs here. So it could come that bit lower yet. And then we'll see if it can hold. And um, my stop's at 36. So um, we'll see if that's going to be enough. But at the time when I took the trade um, on the 30-minute chart, it was looking more than enough and so um, we shall see um, right yes I was just checking off screen right press pause for now okay just back and looking like I'm about to get stopped out on dollar cad we'll see it's nearly there um, I've got those three units uh, there's the third one so we'll see them these will all go blank um, if we come down to that 36 it needs to come down to 36 on the ask price as always and so um, we'll see if it's going to um, come and take me out but it was looking all right and it could be that it's um, let's have a look at it off screen on my other charts um, it could be that um, it's a stop placement thing um, yeah, and, but um, at the time of taking the trades stop seemed appropriate um, but um, it is one of those ones where 
it could need a, a wider stop but in fact looking at it now um, now it's getting a bit messy it could cut it, if it wanted to it could come all the way down to 127.20 so at what point do you um, say enough's enough and 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 you know and not have those stops in place or, or or have those stops too wide so I think they're they're appropriate it's just that it's um, given it up it was having a nice little run and um, at the moment it's um, it's giving it back so um, it's very very close to getting stopped out the dollar yen is sitting down as well so that's gone back come back down I won't bring that up at the moment whilst we're watching this so we shall just have to see what happens with that but I always said this morning that dollar yen could take a lot longer today so we'll still wait and see and sit on that one but this dollar CAD which I thought was gonna be a bit of a quicker trade and we at one point it was looking like it was gonna have that little flurry up there it was into profit and um, not too far away from first target um, but as it stands it's um it's pulled away so we'll have to just carry on waiting and seeing on this one so um i'll press pause for now okay so the uh dollar cad had that little bounce for the last 20 minutes and it looks like it's coming back over again it's right on my stops we're sitting at 37s and um 36s it's got to go a bit low into the 35s and this will all disappear any second and um, that will be that trade over the dollar yen still just sitting around from where I got in so really not happening uh, um, dollar yen not, not really doing too much so it could just be one I'll have to wait into this afternoon we'll see if um, that's going to play itself out but this dollar cad definitely looks like it's about to get stopped out so we'll soon see you never know but it's right on it um, the we'll see look if I bring this up this is showing you look the, the offers at 36 so the bids at 35. So this is my deal tickets are showing the actual orders are showing us at 35 and a half. This this 36.3 that's what needs to go below 36. When this goes below 36, so we basically we'll see 35.1 or something like that over here, and then it'll disappear. So um, that's why it's looking at 35, and you're saying why is it not stopped out? It's because of the spread 36.6. So um, we're just it looks like it's going to come. I mean, to be to be that close, usually it happens, but not always. Um, but um, it's 0.4 of a pip away at the moment of getting stopped. So I thought I was just about to get stopped, so I press record, and now I'm still sitting around, so I'll press pause. Okay, so I have been stopped out on this one. So as we can see, the deal ticket's all gone now. So um, yeah, okay, so it's a loss. Let's just bring the um, show the. Um, the trades down the dollar cad I can't show the whole account because the other trades I've got running but um, so 243 pounds loss there um, on the dollar cad this morning so we'll carry on watching and seeing what's going to happen with this dollar yen mind you that's coming off now as well so um, um, two trades in there today but the dollar cad looked good um, but it's just giving it up um, it was so close as well to the first target anyway we'll carry on waiting on this dollar yen it's about well, nine pips lower than where I entered all that time ago this morning, earlier this morning. Um, we've had that nice run up, but it wasn't anywhere close to wanting to take profits there. And now we've had to just sit through this. So um, just carry on playing a waiting game until at some point. Now, my stop is down at 60, like I said. So it might want to probe this 70 low, uh, 70 area. Because what sometimes happen is, happens is price has gone up for a bit. There might be a load of traders who have got into this and they'll put their stops down that low. So it may well want to take that low um, out let's have a look the low is at 67 so it may want to take that low out and my stops at 60 so we'll see um, just to take out a load of stops and then we'll see if it can then run back up again so um, overall I still quite like the four hour chart and the time frame there it's just a case of um, having to sit on this one I shall press pause back later Right, okay, and it is now 20 to 1, and so um, the time's gone on a bit this morning. We had this nice run on this dollar yen this morning, and then it's given it all back, settled about around this morning's lows, and it's come back up a little bit again. So what I'm looking at, and I said earlier on this morning that I wanted to have a, I'd put the two units in, and I would look to put more units in if, if I had the opportunity where I feel that the price action is okay. Oh, my time is going off on my lunch now. Typical, isn't it? Anyway, so it's consol it's gone up to the five minute fifty. This white line here, and it's consolidating sideways. So I'm going to look for a breakout of this high over here. So that's at I'm just looking at the high. It's about eighty eight. So a 
break of 88 and I'm going to add to the position then I'm going to move my stops up to about 68 on all of them so that's what I'm looking for so um, and now my lunch is going off I'm going to quickly put an order in rather than just because then I haven't got to sit here uh, by stop 106.88 with a stop down at 106 68 there we go right so the order is in so I, I can go off and sort my lunch out whilst we're waiting to see if that's going to break out back in a bit just back and it's broken out just whilst um, just in the last 10 minutes so that last order has been triggered in so let's bring up the deal ticket and uh, see if we can uh, there's the last deal ticket I've got three deal tickets in remember now so this we've got filled at 88.6 so um, now just playing this waiting game to see if this um, dollar yen it's, it's probably asking a bit of it today now now that time's ticking on but anyway to see if it can meander its way up um, this afternoon so I'm not going to be around the whole time because I've just come out of the trading room I look after the guys in the trading room and chat with them all morning so now it's Friday afternoon I have errands to do and stuff so I'm not going to be around the whole afternoon but there's not really too much for me to do at this stage because remember I was looking at 107.30 area um, as a as a target so we'll just have to see if this can continue to run so I will still look consider putting in another unit yet um, so I've got those three units in at the moment we'll still consider putting another unit in but um, at the moment we're just playing this waiting game and seeing um, if it can um, carry on pushing it higher so I'll come back to this in a okay just back and it's now I've been out it's now what just coming up to three o'clock we've got a uh, consumer sentiment coming out consumer confidence um, coming out literally in 40 seconds so we're just gonna have a look and see what happens um, to this dollar yen been sat on it all day since this morning um, so um, sometimes it goes that way I wasn't looking for the small profits remember it was up 20 odd pips at one point so it's just a case of seeing whether it can run um, now if it doesn't and it comes over and rolls down and stops me out so be it but um, that's what trading's about sometimes is trying to run them for your targets rather than just snatching at profits um, but sometimes it's annoying because you get into profit and then it comes back and rolls over you were in profit but um, that's not what trading's all about you have to run to your targets so we'll see so it's about to go so let's see how this is going to run after the consumer sentiment figures come out or consumers confidence figures should I say so we'll just see um, how this is going to run and so as these figures are just being released I mean, it's not a huge hugely volatile um, piece of news but we'll see if we're going to get um, some movement on the back of it <laughs> it's been as you can see it's been going sideways again for the last hour or so so let's just see if this is ever going to get anywhere close to target now, and this is one of those situations where it's not still not moving much but let's assume it just carried on just meandering around at what point do you um, you know do you take a decision on on a trade or on your trade to close out because if you do just want to be in a day trade this trade I don't particularly want to be holding it this one this particular trade over the weekend well we'd have to make a decision so yes by late this afternoon or early this evening I would make a decision on it I still suspect that this will break one way or another whether it be down and stop me out or starts running up so I'm sure it will do that but certainly you have to get to a st stage and say okay I've been in this trade all day or whatever um, it's getting closer to the evening I don't want to hold it over the weekend because it was just a day trade then you just close out so at the moment um, we're still around about um, where I initially entered which was at 83 then we added, added that position at uh, was it 88 or something I haven't looked at my account off screen um, so um, we shall see but as we can see it's still not doing a lot I was hoping we might get a little bit more movement and maybe it'll kick in in a few minutes time so we'll come back to it in a bit okay just back and we're still seeing um, it's a good job I've had a bit of work to do this afternoon I've not been sat here all the time it's half past three now and I think this trade let's uh, have a look this morning got into it sometime between around about eight o'clock it was around about eight maybe nine o'clock actually I looks things I think it was over here somewhere but anyway um, so we've been in for a long time but sometimes it just goes that way my concern like I said earlier on is that I'll have to close this out now it's in in profit it's up a, a whopping sort of 10 pips or so in profit um, from the original positions and the the add-in position was at 88 I can see off screen so it's 
in profit, but it's not doing a huge amount. So at some point, I suspect, considering we're getting to the latter part of the day, that I may have to just close this out at some point if it doesn't go anywhere close to getting to target. But sometimes you never know, you might get a late a late afternoon run on a Friday. So for now, not really much more to do with it. I could trail the stop up um, to about 74 now, and we'll just see how it gets on. So I'll trail the stop up to 74. Uh, but other than that, um, we'll just see how it gets on. I think I'm going to go and cut the grass and we'll come back to it. Well, I was just about to go and cut the grass. And look, it's just gone just as after I pressed pause. So it's having a good run at the moment. Um, let's have a look and see. The account's up uh, on that trade. 400 and something pounds at the moment. Let's just take a screenshot of it. Uh, just whilst... Uh, there it is. So it's sitting up at 400 pounds. So these are the... Um, where, as where it is. I've just taken this off the off screen. I can't show you the whole account live because I've got other positions running on various swings. But um, these were the positions, if you remember them, from this morning. The entry... At, uh, 84.4, 82.9, and then was that breakout entry at 88. So those are the three entries, and it's currently sitting at around about 400 pounds there at the moment. But um, it's still, we've still got a long way to go. Um, uh, I must admit, um, I wonder whether you start getting to this sort of stage of the day, and you say, "Oh, should I just, you know, close out and say thanks very much," sort of thing. But um, I don't do that, <laughs> so um, I'll wait and see where it's at. If it sort of dies down, I'm going to pop out and cut the lawn. Oh no, I'm not. It's just started chucking it down with rain. Oh, can you believe it? I've been waiting all day to do that, and that's, and now, no chance. Anyway, oh. first world problems, I guess. Um, so yes, um, the dollar yen. If it just starts to go to sleep, then I'll probably just close it out at some point here in the next couple of hours but if it can hold up it's having a good nice little run there if it can hold up and we'll see if it can have that little push and see if it can get up into the you know like I said I'd like to see it up in the you know, 10730 really that's what I was looking for so um, we'll see if it can get up there I'll press pause for now okay so whilst it's raining outside still still around. Um, we can see it's in a little pullback here on the 5-minute chart. It may be that this is it. It's actually um, as far as it just hasn't got the oomph to do any sort of major breakouts today, but I'm still giving it the chance. This is the hourly chart, and we can see it's just consolidated all day, so you never know. Sometimes they're wound up like a call, and then all of a sudden you get a late move, but um, we can't bank on that either because it is Friday. So it's sitting around here. I've moved my stops all the way up to 90 now, so I'm locking in profits finally at this point of the day. Uh, by moving my stops up to 90. Now it's possible that it can come down to 90, stop me out and then go up again. But at some point you have to take a, a decision as to what to do. So considering it's so late in the day now, it's nearly four o'clock. So um, so I have moved rolled those stops up to 90, which just means that I'll have a little bit of profit in this trade. And then between this trade and the CAD trade, it's just be a, it'll be a small losing trade if I, a day. If I wanted to close out and cash out right now, then I'd be up and in, in marginal profit across those the CAD trade and the dollar yen trade. But I still want to give it that little bit of room and that little bit of space just to see if it if it does have a bit of a run. So um, we shall see. But um, stops down at 90 now. Press pause for now. Right, just back. And as we can see, yeah, that Friday afternoon trading, um, it's just come back down again. Who knows if it goes all the way back up again, but it's getting late. It's about four o'clock now. So let's have a look. So there have been trading stopped out on those last uh, positions. So let's actually have a look at all the trades from today. Um, so uh, these are the CAD trades, if you remember from this morning. Um, that one rolled over, didn't it? It was up a bit and then rolled over. Um, so that lost 243. But then we made 88 pounds in the end on this um, dollar yen by trading that stop up to 90. And um, those are the exits there. And so what was that? Uh, a loss of 160 pounds, um, effectively, isn't that right? Yeah, about 160 pounds. So yes, I mean the the dollar yen trade. I could have banked it if I'd have wanted to when it came up to here, but you have to stick to your plan. And so yes, I could have banked it, and I think it was the same last week actually. Could have banked it and taken profit, but um, um, you know you have to stick to your plan. And to me. I stuck to the plan. Yes, I ended up having to respect the fact that it was getting late on a Friday afternoon. So I tried to stop up and um, and that's that. So in the end, not much of a day considering how long it's taken me to do this video. But um, hopefully it's a good lesson in some, in some, in, in some ways in patience and having the, uh, the patience to stick with whatever it is you're doing. Um, and 
and certainly then just allowing of trade to, to run itself out, to, to play itself out based on the analysis that you have. Rather than saying, looking at your PL and your account, I show you the PLs because it's all part of these video updates. But reality is that you don't want to take decisions based on you on your PL and your account. You want to base those decisions on um on uh, the technicals or whatever the reasons are for exiting a trade at whatever time. Right, I shall leave that with you. Have a great weekend. Back in touch next week. Oh, actually, before I go any further, next week I am not around. Uh, next Friday, no live trading. Um, I'm on holiday, actually. I've gone on holiday middle of the week, and so I'm away next Friday. So um, um, be back in, as far as uh, live trading is concerned, back in two weeks' time.